Okay guys, in this lesson, we're gonna talk about the mnemonic for hyperkalemia. What is hyperkalemia? Well, hyperkalemia is elevated potassium in the blood. The normal levels of potassium are 3.5 to 5.0 milliequivalents per liter. So in acidosis and cellular destruction, potassium will go from the inside of the cell into the bloodstream. Additionally, medications and kidney damage can decrease urinary excretion of potassium, and this leads to an excessive uh, amount of potassium in the blood. Also, people that take in extra potassium in their diet, that can lead to hyperkalemia. Potassium is a necessary electrolyte, and it's important with the transmission of the electrical impulses in both the heart and the skeletal muscle. And so increased potassium can cause some ECG changes. The mnemonic that we use to determine what the causes of this elevated potassium are is machine. So with the M, it stands for medication. So these are the types of medications that can actually cause this increase in blood potassium. These are ACE inhibitors, NSAIDs, and potassium sparing diuretics. A stands for acidosis. So anytime there's acidosis, that whether it be metabolic or respiratory, these can lead to changes in potassium and result in an increase in the potassium in the blood. C stands for cellular destruction. What I mean by this is that Potassium lives inside the cell. So anytime a cell is destroyed, potassium goes from the inside of the cell to the outside of the cell. Examples of this are like burns, traumatic injury, and even hemolysis. H stands for hypoaldosteronism. And what that is, is it's Addison's disease. Addison's disease is that low output of cortisol, meaning that we need to add cortisol into uh, the body. Now the problem is, is because of this is an inherent disease, what happens is, is it really messes up all of the electrolytes, including potassium, which causes it to go sky high. I stands for intake. This is where that excessive intake of potassium comes from. People that eat 14 or 15 bananas every sitting, that can cause an increase in potassium. So that's one reason that potassium would actually become elevated. N stands for nephrons or renal failure. So what happens here is if the nephrons in the kidneys aren't working, this will actually cause that increase in potassium. E stands for excretion. If at any point in the body system, there's an impaired ability for the body to excrete or get rid of that potassium, the potassium is gonna be increased in the blood and it can cause all of those uh, heart or uh, skeletal muscle impulses to misfire and you could, be, uh, you could have a patient that has some problems. Subscribe and click the little bell so you can be notified when our next nursing mnemonics video comes out. Click the little box below for your free cheat sheet. And did you know we have a free nursing mnemonics course? Click the link in the description below and you can take that course for free. Happy, Happy nursing. nursing.